All right, welcome back to Pharmacist Phone Call, your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt. And if you're watching this show, I am your community pharmacist. So we're going to get right back into your calls. Looks like we got Karen here. Karen, welcome to Pharmacist Phone Call. Let me help you. Hi. I want to ask a question. How can a person find out if they have blood clots in their body or what procedure can be done to detect them? That's a good question. So there's a test called D-dimer uh, that they usually look at to measure if you got blood clots. I believe that's a test they used in most of the, uh, the patients. But we can also look at how thick your blood is and that is, those two tests are called PT and INR. What they measure is how quickly your blood is clotting or how intensely your blood is clotting. So you can look at uh, PT, INR, and D-dimer. PT, R, and R. PT was one test. INR is another test. And then D-dimer is another test. Thank you. I am going to check with my doctor and see if I can get those ordered. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Good question, by the way. We'll, we'll get into that blood clotting and all of that. Tim, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I may help you. Hello. Yes, sir. Tim, I may help you. Yeah, yeah. I want to deliver medicine and deliver medicine to homes. Really? Are you asking, Hello. do we deliver medication? Yeah, yeah. We do. Where do you live? I live in Nashville. Uh, what area? What is this? What area is this? Huh? Yeah, Davis County. Hello? What's your zip code? What's your zip code? Zip code. 37207. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, yeah, that's the zip code where the well one of the pharmacies is. So yes, we deliver to that area. Give us a All call. Right Give us a call tomorrow and uh you can schedule okay. delivery with us. Okay, okay. Sounds all right to me. But you have a nice night, okay? Yes, sir, you too. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So those who didn't understand, Tim was calling to see if we deliver in 37207, which we do. We deliver citywide from Hendersonville all the way out to Antioch, Cane Ridge, all of that. So, yeah, we do deliver. Uh, if your uh, medications are at another pharmacy, we can transfer it and then deliver to you that way as well. All right. So I think we were talking about uh, COVID-19 and manifestations. So. Uh, you think about the heart and then you get blood clots and you had a lot of people, particularly in the African-American community, uh, that we were passing away from strokes, from heart attacks, and from heart failure. And that is because uh, of the amount of blood clots that were developing and the inflammation in the heart. So I don't think at that point we understood the importance of using uh, blood thinners, excuse me, or using uh, uh, corticosteroids to decrease that inflammation. I think now we understand that. So we're gonna see what are the risk factors? What makes me more likely to get it than somebody else? So the first thing we need to understand is that there are different strains and they behave differently. So the one in China, we'll, we'll get back to that. We're gonna talk about risk factors here. All right, so we got Cheryl here. Cheryl, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. Let me help you. Hi, how are you? Pretty good, how are you? I'm doing okay, thank you. I have a question about, um, are you? Ma'am? Yeah, do you have information on uh, eye drops? Uh, which one? Limig in one is uh, Lumigan and Alphagan. Lumigan, yeah, those are used for, um, Not cataract, something. Glaucoma, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. But we do carry those. To, Go ahead. I wanted to know, they're extremely expensive for someone who doesn't have insurance. Do you all sell those at a lower cost? Do you know? Because of the price, I have one patient that does get it cash. Uh, it depends on whether you're getting the .15 or the .2. Uh, one of those I can do really good on, but I think I don't think one's gone generic. I think the Alpha Gam P is still brand only. Give me a call at the pharmacy tomorrow. Let me know which one you're on, and I'll see what the lowest price is that I can give you. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Good call. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. All righty. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's see here. Pharmacist on call. Let me help you. Hello? 
Hello. Yes, sir. May I help you? Welcome to Pharmacist Home Call. Yeah, I got a question about blood pressure. Okay. I'm on 50 milligrams of carbidolol a day, 40 milligrams of lisinopril a day, and 25 milligrams of hydrochlorothiazide a day, and it's still not controlling my blood pressure. Did you say 50 milligrams of carbidolol? Yes. You're taking 225s? That's right. Okay. Okay, so are we doing anything like drinking coffee or stimulant drinks? I have one cup in the morning, that's it. Okay. When did, did you have that one cup on your last doctor's visit? No. Okay. What, are your press, what does your pressure normally run? Normally, when I wake up in the morning, they say that I'm one of those weird people that my blood pressure goes up over the night, so it'll be somewhere around 180 over 125. At night? And that's after, exactly. And that's after taking the medicine. So does it go down like later in the morning? Yes. It sounds like you're a slow metabolizer of that drug. Well, what I would recommend for you is this right here. And that is our good buddy beetroot juice. Now what it does, what I didn't hear you say is that you were on something that was like a vasodilator, which is something that will open up your blood vessels and you know, kind of bring the blood pressure down that way. Uh, this works pretty quickly, by the way, so it gets your blood pressure down in about maybe an hour or so. So I would do maybe, since yours is up a little bit, maybe two capfuls of this uh, first thing in the morning. And actually, you may want to add it on before you go to bed, too, to help keep your pressure a little low at night. Uh, but this is what I would recommend to you. Uh, there are some other things that your doctor could probably try. Um, Man, that Carvedilol. It's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah never... uh, it, it has been up to like uh, 210 over 188, and this is after taking the medicine. Um, I, I got kind of worried about it because I had a heart attack before, and I thought, well, you know, I really don't want to have another one. Okay, so I see why they're going high on the carbidolol because it's actually supposed to prevent you from having another one. That's why they gave you that one. Have they ever talked to you about clonidine? No, they haven't said anything about clonidine. It can bottom you out pretty quickly, but I would ask them about it just because I'm, I'm more so worried about the bottom number. The top number is high, but that, that bottom number is, is really concerning, uh, being at 110. And my uh, first heart attack was caused by a blood clot, so I'm thinking if my blood pressure stays up like that, that's not going to help the issue very much. It's not. And so uh, are you being treated still for blood clots? Are you on warfarin or anything? They took me off of it. I took it for about two years, and then they took me off of it. Are they doing INRs or PTs to kind of measure to make sure your blood is really staying the, the thickness or thinness that it should be? I'm sure they are. They take my blood every time I go, so I'm sure they're checking that. Okay. All right, so how much water are you drinking? I drink a lot of water. Okay. I drink more water than I drink anything. Okay. You got a high salt diet, sir? No. I only eat salt and whatever whatever's in it. I don't eat a lot of, like, really salty foods anyway. Do you eat, uh, like, a lot of processed foods? Because those come naturally with a lot of salt. No. Okay. So not a lot yeah, of I think hamburger helper and stuff like that? No, we don't eat a lot of that, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would recommend this beetroot juice, and let's see how that does you. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, right. Yes, sir. And if you're in the area, just pop in and uh, grab your ball. It runs about seventeen ninety nine, And uh, most people, that has gotten them down. What, where Where is your pharmacy located? Oh, uh, we're going to kidnap you and hold you hostage. You have to wait till the end of the show to find out where we're located. And we'll flash okay. your address and everything on the screen. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Pharmacist on call. Let me help you. Pharmacist on call. Let me help you.
Um, so some call, they help you. And can I get you to turn your TV down too, please? Can I get you to turn your TV down too, please? Can I get you to turn your TV down too, please? All right, we'll catch you next go around there. Okay. Elizabeth, welcome to Pharmacist Hello. on Call. How you doing? Oh, okay. Um, yes, I've got an app on my phone that uh, counts my steps. Yes, ma'am. And uh, it doesn't seem to be quite accurate. And I was just wondering if there's, um, if those like the smart watches are more accurate. And I'll hang up and listen to your answer. Ask your question again, please. Okay, I've got an app, an application on my phone okay. that counts my steps. Uh -huh. You know, it's a step count, how far I've walked. Yes, ma'am. And I can watch it while I'm walking, and it doesn't seem like the numbers are the same as the number of steps I'm walking. So if I get like a smart watch instead of holding my phone when I walk, do you think that that the watch would count the steps more accurately. And I'll hang up and listen to your answer. Okay, all right, well thank you for your call. Uh, I, I would just have to go from the experience of my youngest brother and my older sister and they swear by those smart watches, uh, Fitbits, I believe is what they call them, and they swear by those things, and not only does it give you the amount of steps, it tells you what your heart rate is, it tells you what your heart rate was three hours ago, uh, so you can know what, what your blood pressure or your heart was doing while you at work or on the elevator, so I would probably, just for functionality, yeah, I'd probably go with the smart watch, so it's probably a, a better bet than the phone. And let's see here. We're going to go with uh, Tom. Welcome to Pharmacists on Call. Let me help you. Hello, Tom. Hello. Yes, sir. I can help you. Oh, hey. Uh, I enjoy your program. Uh, I'm 73 years old, and uh, I'm urinating all the time. I mean, uh, you know what I mean? Get up 50 times a night. Okay. A lot of times can't make it. Now, a long time ago, I call it the Dark Ages. You could buy this stuff called Sol Palmetto, and that stuff worked great. But this was a long time ago. Uh, I just wondered if there's anything over the counter that would help with this. Yes, there is something that we sell from the Dark Ages called Sol Palmetto that would help you with that. Uh, but the other thing I would add on, since you're talking about the frequency, is maybe um, pumpkin seed oil because you've got a couple of things going on. You've got your prostate, which is not letting you fully empty out your bladder, and then you've got your bladder, which is really contracting. So we want to slow it down with pumpkin seed oil and then allow you to use the bathroom fully uh, so you don't have to get up, you know, those five, six, seven, eight times. You follow me? Yeah, a lot of times I can't even make it. Now, is, is this Sal Palmetto that you sell, I mean, uh, uh, is it, is it, does it work? Is it good, Sal Palmetto? Mm -hmm. I saw a thing on the television about this stuff isn't regulated, and a lot of times it wasn't even real Sal Palmetto. When yeah. I said I had it before, it was the Dark Ages, and that stuff worked. <laughs> you know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, ours does work. I, I take it myself. It greatly reduces uh, the amount of times that you do get up in uh, the middle of the night to pee. So yeah, I will stand by what we carry. Uh, the other thing is some of the big box chains, uh, there is a little question about their stuff actually having the active ingredient in it. Right. But yeah, right. yeah ours uh, does. Okay, and uh, where, where are you located? Ah, uh, good question. You are going to have to watch the rest of the show, and the producer is going to put the address up there. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Well, I, I, I really appreciate it, and I enjoy your program immensely. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you watching. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. All right, everyone, stay right there. We will be right back. We're up on another break.